Hey guys, welcome back. This is Bernard from the BTN HD, and yes, the server room after hours. Holy moly, I think it's already been about 24 or 48 hours that we did episode 13, and crap. Uh, epic failure on my part. I feel like it was epic failure. Uh, it's one of those things like I, I tested everything out throughout the entire week before the show started. Everything was working. Well, I had I did have some issues with my SCCM and my SQL, but I got it to work throughout the week by rebooting both virtual machines and establishing the connection. I had no problem. I was able to create the documentation for you guys for the show. And it worked. But during the show, nothing was working. My SCCM did not want to establish a connection for SQL. I did some Googling around and apparently that is uh, SCCM and SQL establishing a connection when they're on a separate machine is a problem. There is a hot fix that Microsoft pushed out for SCCM build 1511, but I'm not running 1511. So that update, that hot fix wasn't for me. So the way that I got everything to work was resetting my site and moving my database locally to my SCCM machine. Yes, got it. So I'm running everything in one box. My SCCM, my SQL, my WSUS database, everything is within one box and I got everything to work. I'm super excited and happy. So I'm gonna show you guys what I wanted to show you for episode 13, which I didn't and I'm so sorry. So I have my BJ-Windows 7 Service Pack 1 V2. This is the one that I created with you guys because I thought it was the virtual machine that was causing the issue, but that's not the case. Everything is working. This machine has the client installed. All right, guys. So we're at the software center within our uh, Windows 7 SP1 V2, which is the virtual machine that I started creating with you guys on episode 13 of the server room. Uh, I took it upon myself and created another task sequence, renamed it. I redistributed it within our DP distribution point and also deployed it to uh, my all workstations. And it's finally... Uh, pushed it down to one of the clients and I'm going to push this one out and I'm going to click on install again you got this nice little dialog box that's uh, confirmed that you want to install a new operating system we do so we're going to install the operating system and if everything works well you get this like nice little dialog box right here that says download installing the software you get this right here it looks like it's going everything is working so what did I do so what I did was I did a lot of Googling and apparently having the SQL server on another machine causes a lot of issues with SCCM. Now, don't get me wrong. Uh, this is my first time actually separating the SQL server and the SCCM in two different boxes. I normally put everything in one machine. You know, my WDS, my WSUS, my SCCM, the SQL, everything in one machine because it makes life much easier. Uh, the reason why I did it with you guys with two machines because I, I didn't want my SCCM server to be, I didn't want it to stress out too much with all the services. But what I did is I reset my, uh, my SCCM and I backed up my database within my SQL server, installed SQL server manager within the SCCM, reattached the database. It, it took a while. It was a pain in the butt. Jesus Christ, what a pain. Never again. So I'm definitely going to make a mental note that install SQL Server within the same box of the SCCM. All right. Uh, other than that, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed the rest of the video. I'm going to let this go so you guys can see how it works. And I catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.